Okay, I've got it on, all right? Huh? I've got it on, okay? Hello, everyone. If I could ask you to please gather, we're going to make a semicircle, and we're going to ask you not Testing, testing. Hello, everyone. If I could ask you to please gather, we're going to make a semicircle, and we're going to ask you not to block the video camera so that um, they have a good video. So please come all the way over this side. You can come all the way around. Um, and come as close as you can so you can hear. There's lots of room over here. Nobody wants to be here. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you that you uh, get comfortable as much as you can. I know it's chilly. It's kind of a beautiful day, though. We need the rain. Terry Allen, and I was a customer of Henry, of Roberts. I got to be through the name change. And I'm also a Lutheran pastor, which may seem odd to some of you, but uh, we had many great discussions together. We had a good time. I spent a lot more time in the shop than he spent cutting my hair sometimes. And um, many of you have had those wonderful discussions also. And um, the good times of sharing. And I had the privilege of being able to surprise him a little bit because he didn't know that a Christian pastor could uh, discuss these things and not be all upset. And that he could hear some of the things I believed in. Lo and behold, traded language and words and thoughts and a lot of love. So that's who I am. And I'm going to get to hear more about each of you. So let's begin. Blessed be the one who comforts us in all our sorrows, so that we can comfort others in their sorrows. We've set aside a little bit of time here for sharing. And I would like to invite you to come. You don't have to come and share. But because of the wonderful wealth of memories that are here, I'm going to ask you to choose your favorite one your favorite shortest one, and then after our time, after this time together, we will, um, you can continue sharing with one another, of course, afterwards too, because there's a lot to say and a lot to tell about Henry's wonderful life. And so um, we're going to just invite you to come and... Um, uh, he was going to come here after we were born a day before... Dinner part with the covers about <laughs> what we did and all that business, but. Hi, my name's Lou, Lou Corona, and I had a chance to get uh, rough, you know Robert for about two years, and um, every time I got to see him and spend some time with him, there's always. Uh, but if I was going to say anything on the bottom line level, that was the, the main thing that I could get for him. Hey, the best love that he had for for all of us. And uh, so I came for that reason, just to share that one thing. This love. That we have There's to Robert Hayes. Robert, I still call him Robert Hayes. Uh, I've known him about 15 years. And uh, there's one thing I can say about Robert. That's a bad, nasty word about anybody. Never have I ever heard him say a bad word about anybody. And I think he was a great, great guy. And someday I hope to see him again and shake hands. Andy Fellow. And I went to him after I had to get approval from my Chicago hair cutter because I won't just let just anybody cut my hair. But we immediately started talking about anything and everything. We had a lot to share. The one thing recently in my life that made me think I should share this is the love of animals and this beautiful Siamese cat, and there were other cats, 
would make the cat food himself. So anybody who loves animals, that's the one thing. Robert, that's sure Robert. Is. There's Robert Hay, right there with the glasses. Henry, thank you. Definitely Bob. Uh, seven years, my name's Mike. One thing I would add is it's an incredible sense of humor. I was actually joking with Bruce that maybe we'd come here and find out he just wanted to see who would come to his funeral. <laughs> but uh, I'm still waiting, Robert, wherever you are. But uh, incredible sense of humor, fabulous person, and uh, really showed me what it means to be a friend. So thank you, and I believe you're right here right now. Yeah. You tell me. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen Robert or Henry uh, probably every six or seven Saturdays since 1980. Maybe one of his longest clients. And I um, uh, didn't know him too well on the outside, but um, I got to say, you know, more than just going to get my hair cut, I was always looking forward to the talks we would have, the name thing, and just all the inspiration the man had. And um, he really came from a good place. He was just full of love and happiness. And um, I'm definitely going to miss him dearly. That's Peter Katz. That's the son of a bitch with your phone. Celebration of Henry's life. God revealed himself through Henry. God is great. God created the word and anointed Henry, revealing himself through Henry's insights. Henry's connection with what is invisible to us through sight created the word and the alphabet. Wow. Oh, that's we all that in real time. How truly really awesome. Is There's Robert in the back. Henry that's Robert Hay. In many that's for sure and simple, Robert Hay. Well, that's Robert Hay. He was able to describe in detail his hair our beauty of our individual psyche induced by our work. Work. Yeah. 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 And to the <coughs> sun, I say, early sun, I love you. There's Henry standing next to Robert Taylor in the background. Yeah, Robert Taylor, then that's the guy that's him. With the hat. Robert Jr. with the other hat, the white hat. Right. The dark hat is Robert Taylor. That's the one who trained Robert. That's Katrina. Uh, in the beginning of the world. The best part was playing frisbee with Robert in every. Mesmer. Where's Felice? I didn't see her in the pictures. Uh, his That's ex-wife? His ex-wife. Yeah, his ex-wife, I bet. Everyone says she's, like, moved to, uh... Hello, my name is Bruce. No uh, I met Henry yeah. about three years ago, uh, being in the music industry. Um, I remember music. back many years ago, he used to advertise okay. in Music Connection magazine, uh, Long Hair Rocks. So, many years later... Little did I know he had become one of my best friends. <clears throat> I feel honored that I was able to be introduced to some of Henry's closer friends, also Phil and Holly, and actually was uh, on the phone with them uh, near the end, and uh, for whatever reason, I was pretty much there at his last breath. Here's Phil. Can I just... um, I do entertainment all the time, and I, I get up and speak. Baba G. I, I find that's, it very difficult. That's Baba G. That's yeah, that's Baba words. G. He channels I, Baba G. You all know how he is. Bill Panakis and, right uh, there. In the very shiny jacket. Yeah, in my life. He gave me the name of Rio, so I've got a postcard up in my bathroom so I remember who I am, <laughs> what my name is every morning. And I'll definitely miss him. And uh, yearly, uh, we'll stay in touch for sure. And, uh, Henry even had a chance to meet my parents, and uh, what an impact that he left with them. Uh, did some healing with my parents, and uh, Henry and I we spoke at least a couple times a week. And it took me a long time before I trimmed my hair before, but uh, he'd always convinced me that if 
I would let him cut my hair that he would make it look fuller. And I always thought, how could we do this when there's less hair and make it fuller? But I finally one day, I trusted him and he actually did cut my hair. Besides just the way. So, um, then I became a believer to a chef in these haircuts. Chicago <laughs> so, uh, I thank you all uh, for having me uh, here and being part of this and we got and, uh, the sound system running and everything. Yep, yeah, it was Heather. There's Hurley that's That's Hurley right there with the bad haircut. Do you have any hair pirates? pirates. He's always he never sees too many. He's always trying to find a little bit of any of Robert Jr. Anyway, like, the light hat. Is that a wig too? So it makes him look like Robert. Oh, look at We're going to actually give um, Henry the last word. So. Can we give Henry the last word? Just to give you an idea of what we've got here, the, there's three messages here that, uh, that were recorded by Michael many years ago. Was it Michael? Henry says it's very sexy. Mike Stevens. If it doesn't just hang there. So it has to be. Thank you, George. Right. You can notice me. the eloquence of how Henry speaks about hair. The next little segment is. The hair fitness girl, the long hair, and the long hair, hair is like sexy hair. If it doesn't just hang there, Rapunzel mm -hmm. with her hair down past her, you know, past the floor, actually, it's just long, long hair for the sake of length. It doesn't balance the body, it doesn't bring out the curves, it doesn't bring out the gorgeousness of the face and the eyes. It's a small one with the a true long hair cut yes. is fantastic. Flows from the, the crown of the head, frames the face, brings out the eyes, brings out the smile. Tapers down to fullness and length at the back, usually somewhere above or below the waist or the middle of the back, depending on the person. And it should balance the body and look appropriate. Just like four inch fingernails doesn't look good on the hand. The person who's got them, he loved them for their length. The length for their own sake doesn't work. Length for bringing out the beauty of the form of the person and their personality, that can be fantastic. So it takes the proper tapering, the proper layering, the right tools and movement in the right places, making sure there's nothing that's thinned out or straggly, making sure everything looks fresh and gorgeous, can fall into place without any work. If hair has good condition, it should simply <clears throat> be there and express itself in a beautiful way. If there is poor condition, then we have to use some products. If it's a bad haircut, we need a good one. <laughs> and a good haircut is designed to hold its shape for at least three or four months. It should look good for 90% of that time, at least. A longer specialist loves length that wants it to balance the person. There are salons that go for the Rapunzel look, and all you want to do is get your hair down to your knees or below. <clears throat> that's not what we are. We're here to make your hair and your body balance and look beautiful together. End of quote. Robert Jr. Well, is the of the law. Love is the acceptance of, of the true idea related to life and appreciation of the magnificence of opportunities and of doing things with due care and consideration. To fulfill is to discriminate, to be one with true purpose, to be mentally alive, to have zero discrimination in the heart, and to do all things with intelligence and to aliveness. We just discussed the concept of courage as being heartage. So when you're a state in a state of fear, you need to enter your heart, which is what courage relates to according to the heart. When you go into your heart, you're fulfilled with love. And that love, as it fulfills you, allows you to wash away the fear and the tension 